Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In this video we're going to discuss a candle called the doji candle and the reason why is because it can be quite a significant candle when we're looking into analyzing trend reversals. So in terms of its look the doji candle looks something like this and in simple terms its open and its close are at round about the same level. So the doji candle itself is not a reversal candle but it does represent an equilibrium between buyers and sellers. So in other words, because the open and the close are at the same level, the market does not know which way to go. So the doji candle itself requires a lot more confirmation if we're going to use it in trend reversals. Now the doji candle comes in a few formats, but these are the four, four main formats. First of all, we've got the standard doji candle with the open and close at the upper part of the trading session. Then we have the conveniently named upside down doji, that's basically the opposite of the standard doji, with the open and the close at the lower parts of the session. Then we have the dragonfly doji. Now the dragonfly doji has an open and a close at the top of the session and the grey stone jo doji is the reversal with the open and the close at the bottom of the trading session. So in terms of our example we've got a couple of doji candles that we need to look at here. So we've got doji number one, doji candle number two. They both appear at the bottom of a downtrend and they are in two different formats. Now on their own these two doji candles are not strong enough to reverse this downtrend you see on the left back up in the upwards direction. So they need much more of a confirmation and that's exactly what they received here. So a strong white candle here is a confirmation candle to reverse that trend back up in the upwards direction. Now not just that, we also got a very strong wick or a very large wick from this candle that also acts as a confirmation and hence the trend reversed back up in the upwards direction. So that's a classic example of how a doji itself, even though it represents an equilibrium between buyers and sellers, it's only strong or it's only counted or considered once we have a confirmation candle like this or a confirmation wick like this. Now we also have a doji candle here. Now this doji candle appears at the top of a very small uptrend that you can see here. That doji candle is followed by another smaller doji candle that you can see there. And the confirmation candle received after that is a very small spinning top. Now a small spinning top is not a strong enough confirmation to change the direction of that trend downwards, despite the fact that we've had a strong black candle there. This black candle was simply too late to reverse this trend direction. So overall, despite the fact that, they, that we've had one and two doji candles, the overall market trend continued to go in an upwards direction. So please remember when you are looking at doji candles to look for confirmations rather than just the appearance of the doji candle itself. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, do let us know. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and we shall see you in the next lesson.